So Jay, which three Arsenal players would you sell this summer? And which three realistic players would you like to see brought in that would win the league next season? Um, it's a tough one because I think the players that I would want to sell would be the players that I think I'm not playing that often, but can command a transfer fee which would raise money to buy the three that I would want to come in. So it's not me necessarily saying they're bad players, but I just think at this point it would be good for them to move on for their careers and good for Arsenal to recoup that money. So for me, I would the first one I would say Balogun. Um, he's been playing in France this year. Um, I think he's the youngest player to score 20 goals um, in European leagues, in all the European leagues. Um, so I would sell him because because he's done so well. You could probably get, you know, 40 million ish. I'd probably say, that, which is obviously good for Arsenal to then go and spend on other players. I think Xhaka. Uh, he's in his 30s. I think he he wants a longer term contract, and I'm not sure he would get that at Arsenal. So I think someone like him, even though he's been he's had a fantastic year, I think it would be good for him to move on personally for himself and for for Arsenal financially. Um, and then I would say probably Eddie and Ketia as well. I think even though he he stood in for Jesus this year um, and he ha he scored some goals, some really important goals, putting some really big performances. I think he needs to go and play week in week in week in week out now for his own career. Um, and I think he's definitely capable of doing that in the Premier League at a Premier League club. Um, and then obviously Arsenal will get compensated for that as well. So. I'd, I would go with them three and I would say it's good for those three for their own careers but also good for Arsenal. Mm. And what about coming in? Coming in, a <clears throat> strange one because I will, you know, obviously you always want the best players in the world to come um, but I think Arsenal's problem and we've seen that this year is the depth in, in the squad. Um, Arsenal don't have the spending power that Man City have or Chelsea have. Um, even though they have spent quite a bit of money under Arteta, um, a lot of talk has been made of Declan Rice coming to Arsenal this year. As much as I think he's a top, top midfield player, um, probably our best midfield player in what he does, as in interceptions, breaking up play, um, driving with the ball forward from a deep area. Um, I think he's probably the best at that in the Premier League. Um, but I have to go with, I want to go with numbers because I think next year when Arsenal win the Champions League, there's much more games. You've got to play a lot better players in, in midweek and on a Saturday to compete. Um, so the players that I would like to see come in, um, I would like to see Caicedo from Brighton come in, that kind of defensive midfield mm. player, similar to, to, to Declan. Um, but he can also play right back, which is a problem for Arsenal as well. We need a, a, a right back because this year Ben White has been playing right back. And even though he's had a good year, he's, he, I look at him more as a centre back. Um, then I would go with, actually, I would go with McAllister as well from Brighton. Um, I think he's a fantastic player. Um, he... He can play in that kind of Xhaka position or, uh, as one of the three midfielders just in off the left. Um, he gets forward well, good at set pieces, energy, um, strong on the ball. Um, and he's someone that I think can help Arsenal going forward. And then I would say we need a striker, uh, out and out striker. So at the moment I look at Arsenal, I see Martinelli, I see Jesus, I see Saka. And, you know, Saka's one of the best wingers, right wingers in the world. And he's definitely one of the best in the, in the Premier League. It, you know, for me, it's a toss up between Mahrez and him. Um, and then Jesus, as much as he's been very good for Arsenal, a lot of his best work come from the wide areas. So for me, I don't look at him as an out and out striker. He doesn't convince me that he can score 20 Premier League goals every year. Mm. He hasn't done this this year. And even at Man United, I mean Man City, he, he hasn't done it either. So for me, we need an out-and-out -out goal scorer. 
Um, for me, I would want to see Osman come from Napoli. Um, I think he's strong, he's powerful, he's good link-up plays, he, he's fast um, and he, he's got an eye for goal. So they're, they're my three that I would like to see at Arsenal this year.